Miss Universe Philippines 2023 and their different stories. My story starts at home. This was the first condo that we owned as a family. I remember when I was much younger, we used to just rent and move to a different place every year. During my childhood, I remember how my parents used to fight a lot. And for a time, we were a broken family. So moving here signified how we were whole again. This place was what we could call ours, where we felt at home. Do you want to experience Lagos Ernta through my eyes? Tara, gigi ko ninyo. nostalgic revisiting this childhood tale and hiking to the top of the island. Like many things in life, the little dreams I had when I was a kid didn't turn out the way I expected it to be. Like in pageantry, there is so much sacrifice outside the glitz and glamour. But despite the climb, reality can just be as beautiful as this view. When I needed to be reminded to persevere, the Hikan Beach always holds a special place in my heart. When I was still a kid, I would swim here with my siblings and cousins wearing our Pambahai clothes, and it was one of our fondest memories. Now that I'm a beauty queen, I get to strut my stuff in a swimsuit. Faith holds great importance in the lives of the people of Lapu-Lapu City. At the heart of it all is the Opolanans' devotion to Our Lady of the Rule, locally known as Berhen Saregla, a part of our religious and cultural heritage that continues to be a source of hope and inspiration for the Cebuanos. Nawan, province of Batangas. Growing up in a large family, being the second eldest child among five siblings, there has been a lot of trying and challenging times for us. During my university years, I have learned to be independent and versatile. I had to take every possible opportunity to hassle, especially in the pageant industry, so that I can self-sustain and not rely so much on my parents. On the porch of our humble home and the verdant fields of the mountain with my grandparents, I feel nostalgic how we shared countless beautiful moments and how they taught me all I needed to know about life. I had a happy life when I was a child and experienced some unforgettable moments. I can recall how my Lolo taught me to weave pogaran for our hands using coconut tree. Also, he taught me how fun it is to be under the sun during harvest season. Southern Lete, being my province, has witnessed how I lived the best years of my life. It will always have a special place in my heart. Ganun lang din yung nag-cheer up sa mga bata eh, lalo na kung separated the parents, na pa-feel mo na hindi sila incomplete. The best moment I remember with Zohan, I think every time birthday naman, because we share the same birthday. Because before, hindi talaga ako nag celebrate ng birthday. <laughs> the pristine land and waters, the freedom in the wilderness, and diversity of cultures, the home of Mangyan and Tamaraos. This is where my heart belongs, Occidental Mindoro. The simplicity of life here radiates that feeling of contentment in everything that is available for me. A 
is a provincia ng Mindorena. I was raised to embrace individuality in differences. In 2017, I experienced one of the best years of my life. I was crowned as Binibining Turismo, Binibining ni Maropa Festival second runner-up. And after a few days of these pageants, I passed the licensure examination for teachers. I tried teaching in different schools, but my heart is for teaching in public school. I was stationed in a geographically isolated area. There, I experienced life away from the hustles of the world with no electricity and internet connectivity. I have been in the simplest life that I never imagined. Most of my students are Mangyans. They are innocent and respectful. I had a chance to witness their commitment in providing for their family. I aspire to be capable of helping others. I learned it through my parents. I pursued my teaching profession in the hope of realizing my aspiration and appreciate the hardships of people in life. That everyone is going through their own battles, just like me. With my life experiences and principles, I believe that no matter what race you came from, whatever color your skin has, and no matter background you have at your back, we are all human. We can do great things. We are entitled to reach our impossible dreams. Health is wealth, as the saying goes. Aside from freshly harvested food, my body and soul were strengthened by nature. This is my gym. I work out as I appreciate how beautiful the world is. There were times when life throws up challenges that seems impossible for me to go over with. But I'm grateful enough to have a lot of reasons to draw strength from. I was grateful that the Municipal Tourism, Culture and the Arts Office was generous enough to welcome me when I must give up teaching due to health reasons. That is when my love for cultural and natural heritage becomes stronger. I gotta map different heritage in my town and learn how this affects the way of living of our people. Our heritage have withstood so much in the past, yet have managed to thrive, survive, and maintain their beauty. The entire event that has happened is part of our history. Those that contribute to who we are now and will guide the next generation of Mindoreños in facing tomorrow. I am Laika Bunkin Implamado from the gateway of Occidental Mindoro. My place, my people, our home, Abra di Ilo. Intricate, resilient, unique, beautiful. Such is a fabric. Such is a woman. At a young age, I cultivated a desire to serve my community. Today, I am serving as an SK chairperson of Tuba, a vibrant haven in lush Pinguet. My name is Emmanuel. Nestled within me are a thousand stories to tell. The journey wherein healing upon me befell is a story that stars Cebu and myself. Growing up, was tempestuous. My life was pervaded by mental illness. 
it plagued me debilitatingly, battled with hardships, drowning ceaselessly, an uphill battle, the way too heavy to bear, waves, winds, turbulence, gasping for air. And a lot of people find me intimidating also, but it's the stories that build us up and the accumulation of our life decisions and our life choices that give us success. Every time I felt I was at my lowest, I would go to the Adoration Chapel in San Antonio. So I really hold it dear to my heart. There was this one time when a family member of mine actually almost committed suicide and I was very close to her. I didn't know what to do. So I just walked here, and every time I'm going through something similar, I just walk here. Whenever I need strength, this is my secret place. Whenever I need to give strength to other people or to inspire other people, this is the place I go to. It is a big, big part of my story. Just like any other girl living in the province, my childhood was the simplest yet the best. Jokingly, from where I lived, we may sometimes have weak signals and Wi-Fi, but our connections and bonds are the strongest. Our experiences and stories brought by the community, the abundant natural beauty, and the unique culture and traditions molded every Surigaonan little girl to become ready to face the universe. as a way to connect with those who have felt forgotten in our society. Choice. It's a theme in my life. I chose to live. I chose to be happy despite the pain. I chose my new home. And now, I'm choosing to inspire. Thank you to the very heart of where my story began. Maya payaldo po kaya kayo man. Yako po i Angelic Mato. Malawas ko po kung kana ko pa kamalan a pampaga. Tara, muli tamu. Catching one flight to another, exploring one spot to the next. I have been to so many places, yet I always find myself running back home. A quote from Stephen Wallace said, I was the world in which I walked, and what I heard or felt came not but from myself, and there I found myself more truly, more strange. All I could ever think about growing up was how I could help my parents. Coming from a modest background, we didn't have much, but we always seemed to have enough. My father taught me, through actions, how hard work and faith in the Lord will get us through even the darkest of times. Navigating our town meant parking back to good memories and tracing history that is preserved in our heritage structures. The legacy and success of those who have lived here in the past inspire me to aim higher and dream bigger. Ajung Adlao, this is Bohol, and this is my story. Bohol is so many things, but to this Boholana Belgian, Bohol is home. A place of love, childhood memories, chocolate, and matam is nga kinampay. A place like for every traveler in Balanon, I will always look forward to go back to. As a kid, I remember running around the garden surrounded by rice fields, chasing dragonflies and playing with the dogs and goats, 
I bet that little girl from before never imagined to join Miss Universe Philippines. Looking back at it all, Bohol really is the place where my appreciation and admiration for pageantry really started. When you're about to call it quits as only the first runner-up of your municipal pageant, the universe still moves in such a way to direct you to a greater destiny.